And hello everyone, Peter here once again. Hope you're all just having a terrific day. Uh, you know, I like drawing. You know, there's a lot of things in this. I should stop saying, you know. All right, no more you knows for the rest of this video, you know? All right, there's there's a lot of things in this world that we can't control, you know? Okay, okay, stop. Okay, there's a lot of, all right, there's a lot of things in this world we can't control. Uh, you know, things like uh, where the birds fly, where where leaves land, uh, where where the droplets slide down on the window panes. You know, it's just whether you're just staring out the window at home on a nice rainy day wrapped up in a blanket, you know, or you're, uh, did I say, I need like therapy or something. Or you're, or you're in a car, you know, and they're kind of slanting down the side of the, of the window anyways, or, or where, you know, we don't, we can't control, you know, like where I don't even think about it when I say, you know, anymore. It's like, it slips out, but, but we can't control a lot of things where, where drunk people stumble, where warts pop up, where moss creeps. We can't control how many steps the slinky makes it down after we set it off from the top or or how, how freaking tangled and hopelessly jumbled up it gets, you know? And whenever I try to untangle it, it always gets even more tangled. And only my dad could ever untangle it without, you know, getting it. Like, sometimes I would get those nice slinkies that were, like, actually made of aluminum. And uh, if, I, if those got, like, tangled up and I tried to untangle them, I would actually end up physically... Actually, like actually bending the metal, and if I then even if I got my dad to untangle it, the slinky would be ruined. Um, you know, uh, um, and then we you know we can't control you know things like you know where cracks crack, where splashes splash, where crumbs crumble, where floops floople, how tangles get tangled, how tape gets stuck to itself. Um, you know. Anyways, I like drawing because this like one little thing in my life that I can control. When I put the pen down on the paper, just the I touch it to one spot of the paper and gently drag it along the surface to another spot on the paper. I I mean, you know, Maybe my hand shakes a tiny bit or something. Maybe your hand shakes a little bit more. I hear a lot of people complaining about, Peter, I can't draw a steady line. My hands are too shaky. But apart from that, you can you get to choose entirely. You get to control completely where that line appears on the paper. And that's cool. For all the, the little things in your life, the big and little things in your life, whether it's a worldwide thing or just something in your life with your family or your school or, you know, uh, just, uh, you know, like, uh, it's not until I think about how much I say, you know, until I realize how much I say, you know, um, anyways, you, there's tons of things you can't control, but it comes to drawing. When it comes down to drawing, you can control every little bit of it. And it's kind of refreshing, at least to me, it's kind of exhilarating too, um, to just sit down and, you know, of course, then it can be a little bit depressing because, you know, um, when uh, you, you, you you can't think of anything to do or when it comes out poorly, you have only yourself to blame. And I've said that before, uh, you know, uh, why is this so difficult for me? Anyways, I can't even talk like a real human, you know, uh, it just slips out. I need like electro uh, electroshock therapy at this point. Somebody help me. I, uh, anyways, just go, just go draw something. You're in complete control. It's okay if it turns out badly. Just seize, seize your artistic destiny. You know. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go curl up in my bed now. Goodbye.